Bad snap. The kick is good. Rams win it. And on to Super Bowl 53 they go. And a goal to Burkhead. Burkhead to the end zone. Hello, Super Bowl. New England is heading back again for the third straight year. This isn't going to be an easy one. It isn't going to be a fun one. But I'll tell you one thing. It is definitely coming down to the wire. Oh, my God. Now, uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. You got the Patriots in the Super Bowl yet again. Third straight year looking to win Brady his sixth ring. And then you got the Rams. Redemption. This is the team that took away their legacy, that took away their future dynasty. The greatest show on turf got ripped away by Brady and Belichick in the Patriots in 2001. 18 years later, here we are. Sean McVay, Jared Goff, and the revised version of the greatest show on turf. They want to have a dynasty. So here we go. These two matched up. This is going to be a change, and I can't wait to see how it goes. Now, I like to do my usual analysis where I'm like, okay, this is what the team needs to do. This is what the team needs to do. This, this, that. Here's how I believe it's going to go, what I believe is going to happen, and then I make my pick. Not doing it for this one. Super Bowl is completely different. You got one job. Wait. If the Rams want to beat the Patriots, one job. You got to do what all the other combatants couldn't do. What the Chargers couldn't do. What the Chiefs couldn't do. Get to Tom Brady. That's it. You get to Tom Brady three to five times in this game, you have a great shot to win. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, obviously, you know who I'm going with. I got to take the Patriots. I mean, the Patriots. Are the no, I ain't taking no Patriots. I ain't taking no Patriots. This is strictly emotional. I'm not thinking with logic. But last year, when I saw the Eagles get to a Super Bowl to get their revenge match, I picked them because I saw their NFC Championship game. And I was like, if you give Nick Foles and the Eagles one opportunity to beat Brady and the Patriots, they can do so. And they went out there and did it. I believe the Rams can do the same because the Rams have a lot on their mind right now. They just got to a Super Bowl, first Super Bowl in a long time, and all everyone could talk about is that controversial play. For the last two weeks, all we're talking about is the same controversial play. We're not even talking about what the Rams need to do to beat the Patriots. We're talking about this play. This play that I'm so tired of showing, but obviously I'm going to show you. Here it is. Third down and 10, Breeze from the gun, takes the snap, goes to the near side, oh, hit early, fair. where's the flag? No, get one. Early hit on Tommy Lee. Sean Payne is all the way down at the 10. Unbelievable no call. Wow. Not a flag to be found. Unbelievable. He early. He, that's the second time. That's all anyone could talk about. And now the Rams are seen as kind of a counterfeit Super Bowl contender. They're not even supposed to be here. So the Rams have a lot to prove. They're in a lose-lose situation. If they win the Super Bowl... People say they didn't really deserve it because they shouldn't have gotten there in the first place. But if they lose the Super Bowl, people will show, hey, see, that's what happened. They didn't deserve to be in the first place. They were a counterfeit. But at the end of the day, it don't matter. They can win. That's all that matters. Just win the game. People can say whatever they want, but you will go down as a champion. Rams got a lot to prove in the Super Bowl, man. They have a lot to prove. Facing off with Brady and Belichick, that's not easy. They're going to have to pull off something no other team's been able to do. The Patriots once again have been dominant in the postseason. They took care of the Chargers like they were garbage, which really pisses me off because, you know, um, my team couldn't beat the Chargers at home. When we really did horrible in that playoff game. And I was there, too. You know, I was kind of pissed off sitting out there in the cold and watching my team's offense not do anything. But we're not here to talk about the Ravens. Let's talk about this. Yeah, Chargers did nothing. So they demolished them. Then they went to Kansas City. First half, 14 points put up completely. That offense, high-flying 
offense couldn't score a single point on the Patriots defense. Shut them out in the first half. And in second half, you know Patrick Mahomes does his magic. But once again, Tom Brady comes in the clutch. Gets them the lead. Patrick Mahomes drives down the field, ties the game. Once it got to overtime, we knew whoever won the coin toss is going to the Super Bowl. And Patrick Mahomes got the ball in overtime, game is over. But Tom Brady got it, and you knew what this man was going to do. Yet another game winning drive to take him to the Super Bowl. So here we are. Brady wants another ring. Of course, he's not going to retire whether he wins or loses. He's not, but he definitely wants a sixth ring. And you have the Rams right here in their postseason. They were dominant against the Cowboys. They ran the ball all over them. Zeke was over there. He was ineffective for all the game. C.K. Anderson was doing it. Todd Gurley, who's still injured. I do still believe he's injured. But he was doing the thing, and they got the job done at home. Went all the way to New Orleans. Was down by 13. Fought back. Got in the game. Tied the game. Had a chance to take the lead. Flag comes up, they have to kick it, game tied. Then the controversial call happens. Field goal. They drag down the field, tie the game, overtime, take advantage, interception, they get a chance, go to field goal range, and they are in the Super Bowl. So, here we are. Here we are. Brady versus Goff. Bill Belichick versus Sean McVay. The Patriots versus the Rams. In Super Bowl 53, who's gonna take it? You already know, I've already said it, I'm taking the Rams. Full throttle, I believe in them. They've got a chip on their shoulder and they have something to prove. I wanna see this Ram team win. Get revenge for that 2001 team with Kurt Warner. Get revenge for that. Get revenge for them. Get revenge for the greatest show on turf. Show them that the greatest show on turf is back. After 18 years, we've been revived and we will not go away. This ain't gonna be easy, Rams fans. It ain't gonna be easy. The odds are already against you. It ain't gonna be an easy one, but you gotta get there. You got there, no matter how, what anyone says, you got to the Super Bowl. It's your time to prove it. It don't matter what they say, if you can win the Super Bowl, they can run their mouth all they want. But at the end of the day, you won. You won. And I can tell you right now, that if you can beat Brady and the, and the Patriots, for sure, a dynasty will be on hand. This is your chance to take over. This is your chance to set a tone. This is your chance to finally break out. Three years after the end of the Jeff Fisher era, and now look at you, in the Super Bowl. This is your chance, Rams fans. This is your chance. Go out there and get the job done. I'm putting all my faith on you. I'm putting everything on the line for you. I got full faith that the Rams, the Rams can get the job done. Go out there, Rams. Goff, this is your chance to shine. You have a chance to prove that you deserve to be the number one pick. You deserve to be the best quarterback in that draft. You gotta show that you're better than both Carson Wentz and Dak Prescott by going out there and winning this Super Bowl against Tom Brady, arguably the greatest quarterback to ever play this game. Go out there and beat him. Sean McVay, go out there and beat him. Go out there and out coach Bill Belichick, if you can. I remember the gutsy play. You went out there and you put up a hell of a coaching game against Sean Payton. Made a gutsy play. At the end of the day, they'll remember that controversial play. But for me, what saved the Rams season was that fake punt on fourth down. When they were down 13, that changed the momentum of that game. So go out there and win that Super Bowl. I have all faith in you. That's all I got to say. Rams. I'm gonna take this one in the Super Bowl. I don't have a score prediction because honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. Last time I thought they were gonna both teams was gonna score under 30. Next thing you know, the game ends with 41 to 33. It was crazy. So I'm not gonna go with the score prediction. I'm just gonna say the Rams are gonna take it. Rams, it's up to you. It's up to you to be the villains. Not the villains, the heroes. What am I talking about? It's up to you to be the villains for the Patriots and the heroes for the rest of the league. Go out there. Get your revenge and take down the New England Patriots. It's all up to you. I believe in the Rams. I believe in the Rams. Let's go.